Why are you meh all the time? Because you don't know Jesus. Let's be serious about the one thing that really matters. My life has been changed. Well, how it's been changed? You want to hear about it? It's Jesus. It's real. It's real. Because Jesus affects everything. The mind of Christ has something to say about everything. 1 Peter 3.15 But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. I don't care who it is. I don't care what their thing is. You, as a Christ follower, are supposed to be like Paul. Find an area of common ground and preach the gospel. Excitedly, in love. Don't expect something different. You were lost too. You were a joke too, I can tell you for sure I was. An absolute disaster. Christ saved me. Let's see many come to know Jesus Christ right here. Let's see many become followers and disciples. Let's see many get baptized. Let's see them learn all that he has commanded. All that stuff that's out on the wall there. Let's see it happen. I'm excited. I'm excited because I know what God can do. I know what he's promised to do. I know who I am. And I know what aroma is going up for me. I know what I'm diffusing, baby. Consider in your heart for a moment this scenario. Every single Christ follower in this local expression, the body of Christ starts living this way. Starts believing this way. Starts pouring out their heart before Christ, before God, every single morning, the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit interceding and groaning for us and us believing that, it's, that he's gonna do what he says he's gonna do. That when he says he's here to save, that he's gonna save people and that we get to be part of it. That he says he's gonna protect us and that we're gonna have eternal life, that he's gonna do it. And we start every morning that way, just that. Forget all the other things that we should and ought and will be doing. If we just did that, think about the power of justice and righteousness and peace and joy that God could unleash on Clark County, on the Portland area, on the states of Washington, Oregon, on the country and on the world. If just this little group, and then think about what if the whole church all over the world, every Christ follower was living like this, in this time, in this place, with all the difficulties that are going on. If we lived like this, what could God do? Just consider it, because it's amazing.